Hey Farm Hearts, Sis here coming at you from the Dutch Farm Homestead. I am headed to my favorite place. Just like up on a little bit of feed. Um, which is Scottsville, Kentucky. High Beggars. High Beggars Market and um, which is the Amish country. Kingdom mature, not petty, not childish. 
fetish, not um, retaliatory vengeance. It's not mine. So I'm not a vengeful person. Um, what you see is what you get. What you see is me. I'm, a, I'm an upfront person. If something is bothering me. If you said something that affected me, I'm going to come to you. Um, we go talk about it. Whether it be at that time or even, you know, just later on, because sometimes I've got to ask God for a lot of time, the majority of the time, <laughs> I ask God for his guidance on what I need to say and how I need to approach the situation. Because sometimes, sometimes the flesh can get ugly and sneaky and nasty, and but yet we're supposed to be serving God. Spreading the love of Jesus Christ was supposed to be being led by the Holy Spirit. But this world that we're in, and the body of Christ especially, I'm seeing more scarring and more outlashing in the body of Christ than I am just people from the world that don't even believe in Jesus or know that Jesus is there, but you know, they're, they're, he's just not the center of their life. I have more and have seen more judgmental, not in a kingdom of God way, um, view and perspective from the church. And no, we got to stop that mess. It's just, it's petty, it's immature. I hit a bone. Um, it's immature. It's just not, it's just, get your spirit right. Get your spirit right before you get on IG. I pray before I get on this platform because this is, I'm just giving you a, a itty bitty fraction of our life. And, you know, it is what we choose to share. How you embrace it. I hope in a good way. I hope in a positive way. I hope in an encouraging way. I hope in a uh, way that you can manifest through God's kingdom, manifest through the Holy Spirit, manifest through the love of God, that in your soul to become a better person or to want to be a better person or, you know, to even do some of the things that we're doing at Kadesh Farm. don't have a vengeful or jealous spirit um, because in this community we got to work together in the body of Christ and the farmstead community and the homestead community we got to work together it's just it hurts my heart at times what should be done but it's not done and if there are people out there that are struggling to do it you know see where you can help um, but then when you do that there are those that you offer your help and they are kind of mm, standoffish to receive the help but then they've been asking for the help okay you know what you go do come on take the help don't be prideful But I'll say this, if I need help, I'm going to ask for help. That's, that's me. That's my, my spirit. That's my character. That's my personality. And a lot of my friends that are on here that are following our page, they know how I am. Um, we extend ourselves to help people. We've done it over the years. Uh, we've helped so many farms over the years we've helped so many people find land pray over their land um, we've helped them get situated we've helped them with their supplies i've connected them with my contacts and so but just just help you know don't don't be clickish in a mean way okay that's how I, that's that's the best way i could put it don't be clickish in a mean way and just honor 
honor each other in this community on this um, journey. And so I just want you to embrace truth and what God has for you in your purpose in the journey that you're on, whether you're farming or not farming, um, whether you're trying to get to that point, but just trust God with all your heart. Lean out on your own understanding. And I have to repeat those things to me because there are a lot of times that I do try to lean on my own understanding, but I'm in a way. So I'm like, okay, sis, get out the way. Get out the way. <laughs> You've got to trust God and not always try to make it happen. And uh, my mind goes and it goes and goes and goes and goes. I'm the planner. I'm the get her done. I'm the um, make it happen. But sometimes I got to be still. I just got to be still and know that God has it instead of me. So let God have it. And at each one of my, um, the ending of one of each one of my videos, you'll hear me say, love someone on purpose in God's purpose. Just listen to those words and do it. We can, we can make things so simple, but because sometimes you can't process that in your brain <laughs> or you can't connect those things together or um, some people can't process miracles. We see them all the time. So if I'm telling somebody about a miracle, they're sitting there looking at me like, that's a bit out there. <laughs> it is. Because that's where your faith should be. So I can tell y'all some stuff. And you're probably, if you are not that deep into the miracles of Jesus, they still happen. Kadesh Farm is a place of refuge where miracles happen. I'm sure some things have happened in your life where is a miracle on your farm, where is a miracle in your home, where is a miracle. Um, but a lot of folks are afraid to share that testimony because they don't want to be called Looney Tunes. So um, I know what I've been through. I know what we've been through. And we have a testimony. We have a testimony. Um, are we where we are because of us? No, it's because of God. And we have a lot of people that was on that journey with us in that season, on our journey in that certain season that experienced the miracles that me and my family went through to get to where we are today. And so we'll soon share that testimony. Um, it's gonna be lengthy, but it, I know that it will bless somebody else to press forward and move forward because you don't have many people around you that believe in miracles or believe in um, blessings. Well, I do, we do. That's what we thrive on every single day. So, um, yeah. It's real, it's real. But what you go get from us is much love. Much love and um, it won't stop here. So if it irritates you, if it aggravates you, don't let it. Let the love just love you. Let the unconditional love love you. Let God love you, let Jesus love you. Let the Holy Spirit guide you. Let him order your steps. If you're having a bad day, start it over. If you don't know where to start, just ask them. If you're afraid to ask them, try. Don't be bullheaded. Don't be prideful. He loves you so much. And we at Kadesh Farm love you too. Some people need to hear that. So love somebody on purpose and God's purpose. This is Sis.